what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Valhalla! My name is Splattercat, very pleased to have you here today as we continue our storyline. So apparently, we're gonna get our bill in like five days and it's for like eight grand. She wanted me to buy a Daruma, but considering our, our rent is coming up and we only have like five days to make a lot of money, like $3,500, uh, we may have some issues here, I don't know. Hopefully some opportunities come up for us to make some real cash. Because if they don't, we might be going to, we might freeze to death in our slut shirt, okay? It might happen. It's possible. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna head straight to work. So it's Monday, December the 19th. Good evening, uh, Gil? Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? Got a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. Ugh. See, Jill? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key when I don't? The need for you having a key never really arose. True. Anyways, I'm glad that you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I, uh, I guess. What? You gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass, but remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't really know. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, alright. Hey, boss, why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours. But I told you that you could have it. Sorry, I, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it, but mostly because I thought you'd look totally cute with it. I see. Don't think I'm rejecting the gift of yours, it's just preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Right. Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but, you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we've got left as best we can. Yeah. So cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't really want that. I'll go to my office. Alright. Antenna's fine. I miss anything? Nah, not really. Anyways, let's start this thing off. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil? Huh? Glad to see you're fine. I mean that. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a second. Hey boss! Some guy, some Brian guy is looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll uh... Well, you heard her. It's alright, I'll wait. It's weird for somebody to come asking for her though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Oh, yeah, I guess that's uh... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression, huh? Ah, don't worry about it. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. Handle me just like I'm any other client. Alright, I can do that. What can I get for you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. Sugar Rush, please. Coming right up. He wants a Sugar Rush. So let's go ahead. We're going to be distracted today because I didn't buy the thing that she wanted. But I got to start saving money. And it's got optional Karmatrine, all mixed. Let's load this thing up and see what happens. And then it's gonna be mixed. There you go. Yeah. This one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. You know why? Well, they're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're still the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only really need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is really not bright. Huh, they never told me it like that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Dana's talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me. Am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning that Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it now. Where should I start here? You saw the news on the information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? 
Well, it turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. So where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Ah, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Huh? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? <laughs> Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage, shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never get any complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. Ugh, so much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Well, now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those. Sure. Alright, so let's get him a suplex. Cool. We need four Bronson Extract. Three Flanner Guide. Three Karma Train. Throw it on the rocks. Mix it. And there it is, your suplex. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink. Just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. Yeah, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Gil, though. Yeah, it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh. I see. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff in the office. Please, come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really. Nah. Although... Yes? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders, a top-notch bartender. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. Wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Ah, uh, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella. What a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, just call me Stella and give me a big beer, please. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm on it. Alright, so for beer, we double all the ingredients. So we got two Adelaide, four Bronson Extract, we've got two Powder Delta, we got two Flanner Guide and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Karma Train. And then we just mix the bastard and there it is. No? What did I mess up? I messed up something. What did I mess up? Oh, the Flanner Guide. Shit. Alright, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Are you sure you're fine? Um, you know Say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the, the whole affair and, uh... Oh. Right, that. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so, uh... I was hoping that maybe you'd seen her. As much as I'd love to say that I had... Yeah, I figured as much. Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound condescending. What does somebody do in this situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, no, it'd be tasteless. Alright, just uh, try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye in here the other day. Eye? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. 
A private detective, I take it? Yeah. Maybe you'll want his services. What's his name? I think it was Art Van... No, Vondelay. Oh, yeah, that art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it. But he's actually pretty skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about Say, whatever they might be. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? I'm sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. No, no, I'm sorry. It's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. You know, I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now, I just don't have any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. Well, I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Uh, you want anything else? Something sweet. Maybe that'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. So, uh, Sugar Rush then. Right? I mean, we could do something else that's sweet. It doesn't really matter. I'd prefer to find something that's expensive to sell that's sweet. Sparkle Star, Sugar Rush... Piano Woman is sweet, apparently. Let's get her a Piano Woman. How about that? There you go. Thanks. It seems you really like so I'm kind of a piece of shit, though, if you think about it. I got a depressed person drinking in front of me, and I'm feeding them the most expensive drinks I can so that I can pay my rent. <laughs> oh my god. This is my life. It seems like you really like Say. I don't have any brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Say's more than a friend to me. She's... She's... I'm sorry, I, I brought that topic up at a bad time. Nah, <clears throat> don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support, she's somebody I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want, and I can vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am sitting in a bar making other people do the job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the outburst, but... I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in this situation. Still, you want some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and you could use some. Ah, uh, well, for a given value of fresh... I'm fine, thanks. Alright then. Gil, can you uh, service Miss Stella while I take my break? Sure, leave it to me. How am I supposed to get those tips dough? How am I supposed to get those tips dough taking breaks? Ugh. It's a hard life out here. The struggle is real. God damn, is it chilly outside. I'm back. Huh? What would a kid like you know about that, huh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Uh, let's see. Detective guy comes in. Cat Boomer Girl greets him. They start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. And after that, the guy got riled up and started bad-mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. While I won't deny Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent, when you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. 
True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program that they started is making huge advances and advances in the AI department. Every day more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program. Meaning that we're also the world's little prison. AI went rogue? Eh, transfer it to a delivery drone or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point, although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. The Zaibatsu Corp's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh... Zaibatsu Corp's main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every single day. It's amazing, for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every single month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up! Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you! Uh, don't just sit there, give me a Zen Star. Sure. Zen Star, trying to give you a Zen Star. Four of each ingredient, and then we put it on the rocks. Rocks, to rock your socks, kitty sneeze. I don't know if you heard my cat sneeze, but my cat just sneezed. Let's see, on the rocks and mixed. Zen Star, sir. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't believe everything you just said. Of course I do, why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end there's still a luxury belonging to only a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have still been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, I'm sure. Whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just so happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks, and keep it up. Your face brightened a little bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. You want anything? Me, um... Whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. On it. Bad touches. So we need two Bronson Extract, two Powder Deltas, two Flanner Guide, and four Karmatrine on the rocks and mixed. And samey same over here. Rocks and mixed. And so slot one, slot two. There we go. I remember this one party I went to. Guy came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine a guy shows you up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Uh, are you okay, Jill? I'm fine. <laughs> huh? Ah! Now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank this whole time. No wonder I couldn't get into touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the, uh... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh. Don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with Say is people. Why's that? 
Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance she has to defend herself, well, I once saw her take care of a warbot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Something wrong? Nah, nothing. Just realized I forgot about all that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. Ugh, I just hope she's well, wherever the hell she is. And she owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Alright then. I'll have a piano, man. And you, Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. Piano man! Gotta get you a piano man! Give you two Adelaide with some Bronson extract and powder down to all the burners, bitch. There we go, five of these. And then, like, tray of those on the rocks. Mixed piano man with complimentary crack pipe. Here, it's got like a little thing on the side. So, this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Alright, please do. It's right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Say's situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. I think I've had enough for today. How you feeling? Better than when I came in, at the very least. Thanks for everything. And with that, we're out of time for the day. I will see you all in the next episode of Valhalla. Hi, do everybody.